this is XRP toolkit what you do is when you come here you're gonna hit get started and then you're gonna it's gonna go into a screen that's gonna show your uh, for your ledger to connect your ledger so you're just gonna hit connect um, I'm not gonna go into it because if I hit it it will go into my account and I don't want to show my account what's going on in there so um, basically you'll connect your ledger follow the steps after you hit get started uh, make sure you're plugged into your USB cable make sure you're in your ledger you already got your passcode in everything's done already and you're in the XRP app once you do that hit get started and just follow the steps it will connect to your uh, ledger and then it will have your account don't worry they do not this right here you can do trading you can do all kinds of stuff in here it will not um, know anything else but just how much XRP you're holding it does not know your 24 key phrase that's all yours that's all hidden um, only you have that so there's no way for them to withdraw or do anything everything needs to be okay through your ledger in order to do that and you're not giving any of that kind of permission this is just to start the process of claiming your spark token Hey guys, this is Carlos. Uh, I'm going to dump my voice over this because I forgot to hit my microphone when recording this. All the web addresses will be below what you need to do this to claim your Spark. So we're going to launch the tool. I'm going to go through the disclaimer here. I'll make sure everything's written out step by step also. I'm going to hit continue here. And I'm using the XRP toolkit to claim my Spark. Um, during this point, I already have a uh, ETH address. Um, I contacted them. They told me I can use my ledger address. Um, at first, they said it would be okay to get a MetaMask address, but then later on, I talked to them again. They said it would be okay to use your ledger uh, Ethereum address. So I pasted my Ethereum address in here, and then I'm just double checking the address, making sure everything's okay. I keep going back and forth. This was my first time also, so I wanted to make sure everything was done right. Um, so I'm just double checking everything at this point. I was really thorough. Also make sure you read uh, what all this says up here too it, it, it tells you pretty much what's going to go on and what you're doing so and then when you hit next you'll end up in uh, another screen where it's going to give you a key Okay, so this key right here that generates is from the ETH address you just put in. Again, you can open toolkit from here. Um, I already had a toolkit account, an XRP toolkit account. So that's what I used, but you don't need it really until this point. You're going to connect your ledger to toolkit and everything's safe. Don't worry about that. They don't know anything else. They're just going to know how much XRP you hold but they don't have any access to your ledger from a perspective like you have all your keys, you have your, your 24 keyword phrase and all that kind of stuff. Never give that stuff away. You're gonna to go to properties once you're in here. Once you've got your ledger all connected to XRP Toolkit. And then you're gonna hit uh, update on this. And you just put that uh, key phrase in here right now so then it's going to confirm the transaction you want to have your ledger open and uh, on XRP in the XRP app I think right here I wasn't in the XRP app I was inside um, the ledger itself with all the apps so um, I opened up the XRP app and uh, it just it's automatically connected your ledger connects it that white screen pops up it holds all there's a bunch of information on there um, that's why I blanked it out but it'll show your ledger it'll show everything that's going on and um, then it'll clear out and drop back down once it has it it'll start confirming And there we go. 
Pro, so now it's updating. You just basically told it, and there it is, transaction succeeded. So it's just basically uh, let you know that you allowed it, and you allowed your ledger, and it knows everything that's on your ledger, and uh, basically you're all set to go. So what I do is I just go back and I double check to make sure the uh, message key is all set right. Which it, it was set from the beginning, but I'm cautious, so I double check everything. And that's pretty much it. And then you're going to hit uh, next, which will give you a confirmation that you did it right. I'm also going to give you put another link below where you can check your XRP address. And it will show basically um, if you if everything's right, the ETH address and everything. And okay, once you uh, finish everything and everything's done, you come here to XRP scan. You're going to put your wallet address right up in here, your XRP wallet address. And it will show right here if your message key was done right. And it will show the little flame. And it means that you're all connected right uh, I will put all links you can this is one way you can do it and then you can do it also through BitHump um, and check there also and it will on BitHump it'll show you your ethereum the ethereum address you put in and saying that it's ready for flare um, and that's it thanks guys and I hope this helps